Here we have a website that I've opened up. It's about Valentine's candy grams. And I want to use my read and write Chrome extension tab here. You see the toolbar that I've used this purple puzzle piece to open it up. Sometimes that can take a second and you do need to be online. Here I'm going to choose to simplify this page and I have clicked that already. It takes a sec to open up in a se separate tab and here we can simplify more or less. We can use discover to identify words in this article that I can click on for hyperlinks to find out more. I can adjust the way it looks, black on white, white on black, blue on yellow, etc. So I can make it dark mode, for instance. And that'll take just a, oops, I gotta change it. That'll take there, us here. I can change the font size, so I can make it really quite large. I can utilize additional fonts. This looks like this website won't go into open dyslexic font, but I can choose some of these other fonts. I might make it a bit smaller just to get the effect here because I want to show you here we can go spacing from single to double spaced. And I also want to show this AI feature which will summarize or simplify further that entire article. My processing time is slow because I'm recording at the same time. All right, so we have a shorter article here. I'd have to go in and verify that. What I'd like to show you as well is the um, readback features. So we can select to read a sentence um, or we can select all to read the whole thing and it'll give us Valentine's Day for high school Cupid. It's candy grams and roses on Valentine's Day, the busiest place. So that'll work with our larger font as well if we want to have it read through. Um, and let's see here if we can highlight a paragraph for ourselves and see how that looks. Valentine's Day for High School Cupid, it's candy grams and... All right, back to our original article, we have uh, some additional features. So on this page, we can utilize Zoom to make our, our page larger and smaller. So I'm using the keyboard command, control plus, to make it larger. I'm gonna use this feature here, picture dictionary, to choose a word and see what symbols I might be able to look at for that word. If I'm looking through here and I want to know what a freshman is, I'll select that word and choose a picture dictionary. No matches found. I'm going to go in and see what else I can find. A picture like knights. Gives me a visual for that, which is helpful. Also on this page, I can use this reading line that might help me to focus. Um, it can be used in conjunction with our knights. The carts are hand-drawn, colored, decorated, and affixed with candy. They are less for sweethearts, said... So that's another feature that might be helpful to some students. If we go over to our simplified page, oops, which I have here, we can utilize the picture dictionary as well. So we're going to select Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day. We can read it. Students and a few parents send... We're going to look at our picture dictionary see some images for Valentine's Day. Hope that's helpful.